Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff. Um, yesterday I didn't do anything, I was trying to get around to watching some uh, the new AMD uh, Ryzen 7950X3D desktop reviews. I managed to watch uh, with uh, Gamers Nexus and Hardware Unboxed reviews. And the overall uh, sentiment, at least from uh, what I can get, is... Uh, the 7950X 3D is like, at least in gaming, around 5 to 10% faster than the 7950 non X, uh, X non 3D version. And in terms of production, can be a little bit slower in, in an average of 5%. Mainly because they have to, with, the free, with, the, with, the, with, the, with this extra cash, they have to lower a little bit the consumption power and lower a little bit the clocks, of course. So the temperatures uh, get a little bit um, lower because the this uh, 3D cache is very sensitive to heat. So we have to tweak a little bit, and this will give this uh, kind of um, uh, performance um, boost to certain points in some games and in production a little bit less. So I think they are trying to achieve like a medium uh compromise here uh, regarding production uh, applications and gaming um uh, performance um in hardware unbox they cover a little bit more the 70 uh, like kind of an emulation of 78x 3d mainly because they disabled one of the ccds from the 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 um, 7950x 3d which is basically simulating a 7800X 3D, what it should be in terms of performance and what it's kind of expected uh, regarding like the, the, the cache and the, the, the cores that it has, that CCD, it's basically a 7800X 3D. And it um, uh, seems, at least for gaming, way, 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 way better than uh, anything else uh, from AMD. Um, I, I think it kind of even uh, blows a little bit up the, the 13900K from Intel in, in some games, like a lot, uh, mainly because uh, usually games tend to prefer uh, the more cash you have, the more they, they use it, so it's better in terms of performance for gaming. Um, the only thing if you buy this uh, new uh, CPU, if you're interested in buying, you have to at least uh make sure you have installing the update bios and in some software they 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 tell you in the, the review uh, some um you have to up, uh, update the um, the software from from amd and everything especially the bios uh, because then because of the instruction sets because these are two ccds so basically two sets of cores like two chiplets and only one chiplet has the the extra cache so basically, with this updated uh, software and BIOS and everything, um, and also in Windows, you so they can uh, know which uh, CCD has priority regarding the application that you are using uh, or game. Um, but yeah, uh, for the price, it's very good. Um, it's it's it meets the expectations, <laughs> which is very good in this day and age. Um, I just I'm going to wait for the 7800X 3D real um, uh, real review because the reviewers that I saw nobody has the, the this one I got the got this guy Japanese guy uh, I don't know it's got the 7900X 3D non, the non 50 one um, I think it's yeah it's the only one the rest the uh, three of them uh, including Tech Power Up they managed to disable one of the CCDs completely so they can simulate again that's why it's like an emulation uh, but it's not a real performance because then we have other components there on the chip itself like uh, of, uh, frequencies should be different and the, the, the operating te temperature also different uh, it, there is a lot of uh, technical mobile job per se the, that's why they have to call it emulation but supposedly we can expect a little from the emulation results that they presented here we should expect like a little 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 bit more um performance if when they review the 7800 x3d uh, but yeah basically this is it um, it's good uh, the prices i already showed you in the last video uh, like the msrps that i'm going to launch i expect they the other 
X versions and non X versions without the 3D cache will start maybe I don't know creep a little bit down on, on the price we will see how it goes uh, we have to wait until uh, April uh, 6 when the 7800X3D comes out and see how it compares uh, in terms of performance and how they are going to scale up or uh, at least um, compare itself with the Intel and if Intel will try to cut a little bit of the prices to maintain a little bit more competitive and all that that stuff we will see how it goes regarding price uh, drops uh, in China it seems that the 7900 XTX and XTs are getting a, a lot of like almost 20% price cuts there uh, they are now of course below MSRP 20% is a lot of, is a lot of percentage um, I just hope that because the, the this new uh, AMD uh, GPUs they are very good however the price is not especially the XT one it's not very well placed uh, I think it should be like almost $150 uh, below the MSRP to be competitive uh, because it is um, at the same level and in some places at the moment way better than the 4070i and if it maintains oh, like 100 to 150 dollars uh, 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 below it stays basically at the same price uh, range that the 4070i is and it just pulls out of the water in terms of value per, per, per performance uh, the 79 XTX is like at the moment the, the Halo product of one of them, so uh, okay, one thousand dollars. But still, they are they are lowering the here at least in China. I don't know how it trickles down to other markets. Uh, I just hope that it, they they have to put it down. The, the, for, uh, in terms of performance and best performance from uh, previous uh, generations, it, this is completely blown out, out of proportions they need to, to, uh, to they need to lower because people don't have uh, it, people don't have money to, to buy this expensive like hell uh, GPUs um, and yeah uh, I don't know how uh, what's going to happen now uh, I just hope this trickles down to all the markets uh, so we start seeing some more consistent and, and more uh, kind of abrupt um, um, discount prices and maybe they I don't know if they are going to change the MSRP like at least $50 like in practice or $50 or something like that I don't know I just hope that they come down in price that's all I want uh, because uh, for the performance they are good but the price is horrible so that's why it's not a good value to buy <laughs> to these GPUs and people are still waiting for the, the next uh, the, the middle range and the high middle range uh, GPUs uh, from AMD and from Nvidia and they are not coming and people are getting a little pissed off with uh, because and they are right um in the news regarding GPUs <laughs> there was like a, a this is like a few days ago now uh an RTX uh, 4090 uh, Vladilena Milizi uh, some pictures appeared here with the box and and and, and everything like the gpu is is like modded and everything and it's basically a mod so it's not a production one uh the guy is like a modder and it basically managed to uh get all the the, the official fonts and everything and the size packaging so he can make like a, a package for the gpu and in the gpu itself he, he managed to i don't know uh, cnc mill this thing uh to modded for, for, for what he wants um i don't know this character or what team it is I, I know it's from a game from what i understood but i don't know what it is uh, but yeah the, the guy managed to modded everything so it's a it's a custom uh, design for him and good for him it, it, it takes a lot of skill to do these kind of things to properly uh, but yeah the, if you see this roundabout and you didn't see the this update it's uh, it's a fun project basically it's like one single unique card i don't know if the guy will uh, i don't know if it is some way 3d printed or something like that like bring up some um schematics on how he does it uh, or how he did it um but yeah it, it, it's not coming uh, <laughs> at least this one it's not coming um regarding games we got some uh, news from outer worlds it's this game is like four years old i think 2019 um they like revamped the thing per se like they launched the spacers choice editions 
so basically they overall the, the visual uh, with visual upgrades and everything and it's like a package like a game of the year edition per se it had all the dlc everything and it's uh, updated um um updated graphics and everything i think it's more optimized i think from what i understood from the the the, the article here um and it's uh, 70 bucks i think and it's only like for next gen so ps5 and xbox one no uh, 60 bucks okay uh so, but it has all the dlcs and everything it's like a it's like game of the year edition to, to a certain point and because i suppose it will i think it brings rtx to the, to the thing i'm not sure uh that's why it only has like the the xbox series x and ps5 and consoles and pc of course uh, it can handle basically everything it will come march 7th uh i will leave um i think i have this one on my uh, wish list I, I will leave it uh on the description a link to, to the steam page if you are interested um yeah uh, well, hopefully it, it it is like an updated version and better version from the original game which is like obsidian the same guys from fallout uh, new vegas uh, very good game i, I enjoyed it very much and uh, mainly because of the story wise and how they set up the the, the things there uh, i never played this game i'm hoping to play it when i upgrade my pc we will see how it goes I saw this one, uh, it's uh, just came out of nowhere, I think I already saw something information because these guys are the same uh, uh, guys from the studio, uh, the same studio that is doing the Witcher remake um, in Unreal Engine 5 and this is basically, I think it's a Polish studio <laughs> so this is, a, a, I don't know how to say it, Fama Turge um, which is like basically Miracle Worker translated like in common language to a certain point. It, it, it is a technical term, but it's like Miracle Worker or something like that. And uh, it's basically isometric RPG or CRPG. Um, it seems very, uh, very interesting, the concept. Uh, so you like uh, one of these Thomo, Thomo Turge, uh that it's basically sensitive to how do they say it um uh, like spirits it's not spirits i'm sorry i just read it and i forgot it um salutors it's like um, it's a very witchery vibe it's part of the folklore a, a lot of these things uh how they uh, approach these films and it's basically between uh before the first world war uh, in that uh, time zone supposedly it's kind of um uh, tries to uh, be faithful to the story at that time in that place um, and basically you are one of these and there is not much more of details here uh, but it's on Unreal Engine 5 uh, which is interesting using uh, isometric RPGs uh, this kind of perspective I don't know how detailed and how it works with the engine but uh, they have a trailer here it, it, I saw the trailer it's, it's like a CGI uh, trailer so there is no gameplay there uh, but on the steam page there is like some screenshots of early uh, from early development i think uh, but yeah i think it's going to be a little bit like, almost like Geralt. you are one of these guys and stuff will start to happen and we have to figure out how to solve this issue uh, this these things and then possibly interaction with people with problems because this kind of saluters can interact manipulate uh, people in doing things so there is uh, uh, a lot of stuff around here but it, the, the, it seems interesting because it, it's from the same guys that been handled which remake so um there's something there i think um and to finish up regarding gaming news ubisoft is doing the same mistake they did when they start after assassin's creed uh the Ezio uh, saga after when they start pumping out one Assassin's Creed game every year uh, like Call of Duty style which is the worst way to do this they are going all in uh, uh, four game projects planned like one per year uh, starting after Assassin's Creed Mirage I don't know what they have in their mind they think that it's like the last salvo to save Ubisoft from declining financially uh, I don't know what's happening these guys they, they have a lot of issues internally um, regarding some abuse stuff well, 
work conditions and, uh, and even like other stuff um but uh this guy i don't know what they have in their mind they did launching one game from one franchise it just it only creates fran uh, franchise fatigue because it's what happens basically uh, with the Assassin's Creed. People are a little bit tired. They just want to, uh, I don't know, give it a break like two, two years or three and three years. Put out an excellent game or a very good game on, from the same franchise. And so people can enjoy it. And, and sometimes uh, this season doesn't have like uh, the, the first... Uh, three Assassin's Creed or the, the first three or four Assassin's Creed games they have all the thread through with the, 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 the Desmond uh, Miles stuff uh, the, that it was a story for, 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 that it went through all of these guys that's uh, supposedly it doesn't exist more because I stopped playing it the, I had like some fatigue even though technically some of the games were pretty good and introduced some pretty interesting stuff but I, uh, the last one i think i played was uh, black flag i think i'm not sure i stopped playing uh, Assassin's Creed because uh, every year putting the same kind of mechanics no that's why for me call of duty it's the same game with uh, just different skins different colors different but it's all the same thing you just pick up a gun go multiplayer map and just shoot people uh, in the game so there is not much innovation there or story to tell so that's what it uh, pulls me into games and these guys here on ubisoft they're just going the shoot themselves in the foot uh, per se with just one game per year again it's it's not going to solve their financial problems because people will not uh, they might get along with the first game like the mirage if it's very good then the second one the sales will go down a little bit because it's not the same thing that the quality of mirage then the third game is going to be even lower uh, sales uh, because then people start get tired of the same thing because if the Mirage stuff is very good they will rinse and repeat that's how we finish with the with the franchise it, we just kill franchises you left and right with this kind of thing uh, but yeah stop uh, stop the rambling and lastly we got uh, I cut up some some GOG uh, deals here from Bethesda uh, there are very good deals here from Wolfenstein, The Evil Within 2, um, uh, Fallout, Prey, it's good. The Deluxe Edition, Digital Deluxe Edition, it's very good. Uh, 10 bucks. Uh, it's better than the Prey because this set has the DLC and stuff. You got the, the Skyrims, the Oblivions, uh, Dishonored. Uh, seems good one because it's all the Dishonored games in one package, uh, like 70% off, which is good. Atheretics, Exxon, uh, more Wolfenstein, and then we start entering in the Quake Doom in, uh, things here. Um, yeah, the, the more well known are basically here. Uh, I don't see Fallout. Hmm. Maybe the next one? I don't because this is like a, the, I only filter, yeah, doesn't have the Fallout games. I don't know why. Uh, the Fallout, the new ones. The Fallout 1, 2. Maybe I missed it. Ethics. Uh, you know, Fallout Three, New Vegas. Yeah, I just, I just confused it with the with the Quake stuff there. No Fallout Four. Interesting. Fallout Four now he has uh, a lot of, uh, an interesting thing. Uh, yeah. Now that I see um, the Fallout thing um, on uh, Nexus mod, they have like if you are part of the paying uh, monthly thing of the membership, uh, you, they have like lists when they install basically automatically like they, they, they are a list of mods so in like one or two steps you can install basically uh, a full list of mods uh, to play fallout 4 differently um there, there are so, a lot of people do doing coverage of this it seems interesting if you like fallout 4 uh, i did enjoy it but uh, it was a little bit bland for my taste uh, but yeah i want to don't, don't want to overextend for today i'm going to wrap up here uh hope you have a wonderful day i will see you in the next one so until then let me master out